Yo, kia ora, MMI, welcome back to lesson two, um, that was four, lesson two of uh, online Kiwi Can. Um, I hope you've all managed to get out for a surf, a swim, a boogie board, um, gone to get some pippies, gone for a fish, things like that. Um, during level three, I know a lot of you guys would have been craving the water and the beach and those activities, so it's pretty awesome that Auntie Jacinda has let us um, go and do those things now. I know this uh, on Tuesday morning, I went straight out for a surf, um, just took the longboard out. It wasn't much of a wave, but it was nice to be in the water. Um, so again, our uh, theme this term is resilience. Um, again, we've tapped that from term four, bring it into term two because it's really fitting in the circumstances. So we are learning about problem solving. Uh, pretty self-explanatory again, um, what challenges that we may face um, in the community, at school, at home, on the sports field. So what we're going to do is come up with strategies and te techniques that we can use um, to overcome problems, to solve those problems. All right, they can, they can be from the extreme level right down to the minor level. Okay, so some good things I use. I use a lot of breathing techniques. Um, I do something called the Wim Hof Method. Um, which is quite an extreme type of thing, but I use that in my practice, especially on the rugby field, okay? So when I'm really heightened or really anxious, I do my breathing to bring me back down, okay? Because we need to be at our mellow stage to execute our skills, especially on the sports field. So I hope you enjoy um, uh, Lesson 2's videos um, and games, and hopefully see you guys in a couple weeks. Ciao. Sweet. So for today's Energizer, we are going to be focusing on our motor skills. So our catch and pass, um, our catching and balls. All you need is a ball from home. So I've got a volleyball and a tennis ball. I can use either all and or wall away from windows. Um, all it is, there's no challenge or anything to it. It's just focusing on catching the balls early, okay? And keeping them off the ground. So this is a really good way to improve our skill and our micro skills. So a challenge you could do is what I'm going to do with this ball is just chuck it and throw it behind my back and behind my back and behind my back. If I'm just beginning, I can just chuck it up, trying to catch it in one hand and maybe change hands. All right, and if you get really good, you could use a tennis ball, just do the same thing. Catching, you might catch it into alternate hands, alternate hands around the back, around the back, oh, around the back. Sweet, give it a go. Ooh. Kia ora Kiwi Can. For today's activity, we will be doing puzzle problem solving. So this can be done as a standard activity, and if you decide to do it this way, we will attach um, some links or some brain teaser sheets for you guys to have a go at and see how many you can complete. Or you could do something similar to myself and put a twist to it, I had someone in my bubble create five different stations and at each station there was a puzzle or a brain teaser that I had to solve before I could move on to the next. Cool. So I'll show you a video of myself and my partner doing our little puzzle adventure and what we included in ours was a hidden message. So at each station we had about three, four letters and we had to collect them as we go. And then at the end, it had a message or a bunch of letters that we had to put, I think there was about four different words, and we had to put them together to create our sentence. So have a watch and see how it goes.
awesome. So have a bit of fun with that. Good luck figuring out those puzzles. And don't forget, you can put a twist on it like I did myself and get all creative with a puzzle relay or a puzzle hunt. Well team, I hope your brains were given a bit of a workout today with our puzzle problem solving and Luther's energizer. That brings us to the end of our lesson. So as always, I hope everyone stays safe and hopefully we will be able to see you guys again soon. Cool. And to finish us off, K-I-W-I, Kiwi Can, goodbye.